Hey guys, Aquatics here uh, at the Planet Tank. This is my first video, my new camera. Very, very excited. As you can see here, I've just ordered a bunch of new livestock. I'm so happy to have these guys. Uh, paid a lot of money for them. Probably shouldn't have paid this much, but. Uh, Big Isles is the, the best aquarium store in my neighborhood right now and they offer the cheapest prices so uh, I went there and still ended up paying an arm and a leg but uh, I'm very happy with uh, my purchase this year. I got um, some red Sakura, Sakura shrimp. I got three of those. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll buy more one day. I'm, I'm hoping they'll breed. Maybe I'll have a male and a female or two females and a male that'd be pretty cool <laughs> uh, I got some uh, yellow sakura shrimp I got three of those too and um, I got the uh, the algae eating shrimp the amano shrimp I got six of those and uh, I figured I'd spruce up my 20 gallon I kind of want to make it like a fish only tank so I got a couple neon tetras I got six of those um, got uh, ten more ghost shrimp and uh, I was having kind of a, a hair algae problem last week um, I, I solved it by turning off my lights for a few days um, and that completely just like destroyed the algae I don't, I don't know what happened I did a water change and I turned the lights off for three days and it, it was it was really bad but it's it's completely gone now so that's pretty cool maybe the shrimp or something are eating it um, with a little more research I, w I was hoping to uh, put in the Siamese algae eaters with the shrimp but I'm not sure if they'll be compatible so I'm gonna be up all night researching that last thing I want is for these guys here to be eaten or bothered you know because I love my shrimp so yeah I uh, just got home was thinking uh, get them into the tank before they get angry with me right so these ones here all oh, these are ghost shrimp they're very active I can feel them in <laughs> roaming around in the bag there um, what are these guys? The, oh, these are the Sakura shrimp. They're really active too. Yeah, so I'm, by the activity of them, they, they, they've come a long way. I traveled far and wide with these guys. I'll put this one uh, in the 20 gallon. These are the Tetris here. The neons. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching my journal and, and commenting. These guys here are the uh, Siamese algae eaters. I'll put them in here for now. They'll be safe in here. Um, these ones. These got to be the Amano shrimp. They're going to go into here. So yeah, this is my shrimp tank. Got some albino quarry catfish. Um, they, uh, they said at the store that these ones here were called fire shrimp, but uh, lately I've been finding that people are lying at the store. Maybe they don't know their stuff, but we're gonna call them fire shrimp for now. They're, I think they're blood red fire shrimp. Um, we got a few cherries in here too, but they look an awful lot like the Sakuras I just bought from Big Al, so maybe uh, Trent Pet's lying too. Maybe they don't know either. Uh, but yeah, the, the tanks come along nicely. I'm, I'm battling like a, a buildup on my Java Moss. I'm not too sure what that's about. Let's see if I can. There we go. Well, you really can't see the, the brown buildup on the camera, can you? But, uh, 
yeah, this was another update. I'm just adding the fish. Um, I'm going to update again when I, uh, to see how well they adjusted. And I'm really hoping that I have 100% survival ratio on this one because this was a lot of money this time. And I feel kind of foolish for spending it, but, you know, I, I probably saved these shrimp from a horrible, horrible death. <laughs> Signing off. This is Aquatics here at Planet Tank. Thank you for watching.